Developed by Alexander Bruce, Antichamber is a non-Euclidean puzzle game. While there may be some comparisons drawn between Antichamber and Portal, Antichamber takes the first-person puzzle-solving mechanics and completely redefines them. There is no real story in Antichamber. You just start in the beginning area, and you are told to click on an area to enter. From there, the game introduces the different mechanics through little drawings on the wall. They aren't your normal, press this button to perform X action, it is more, sometimes you fall down a large hole and that is okay. One thing that makes Antichamber so great is how the world is constantly changing all around you. Sometimes you'll enter a room, turn around, and the area you came from is completely different. The puzzles in Antichamber can be quite challenging, but not in a way that they are unfair. It just takes some time to figure out how to solve each puzzle. After you solve a puzzle, you don't get that sense of, oh yeah, I should have figured that out way sooner. It is more of a, huh, I guess that works. And that is what makes Antichamber so much fun. You will get frustrated, but what is a good puzzle game without frustrating moments? When first looking at the game, it may look a bit simple in the graphics department. The game's primary color is white, with some blues, greens, and reds thrown around in the world. But once you start to really get into the game, you realize how beautiful it is, especially towards the end of the game. The game will also use colors to hint players on which area to go to next. The sound design in Antichamber is another high point with the game. There are some great sound effects in play, and similar to colors, sound is used a few times to push players in the correct direction. Overall, Antichamber is a very challenging puzzle game that is incredibly unique and is put together well. It will mess with your head and test your patience, as any good puzzle game should. It will also make you appreciate the Euclidean world we live in just a bit more.